carved him into what he is, made him a powerhouse that fights to live. His iron muscles threaten destruction. There's no fighter that can touch him. The king is now revealed. He's a real bastard. Uh! He's a king of kung fu. King of kung fu. Show what he can do. He's the king of kung fu. King of kung fu. Methodology for this apologetic, and I say, well, I'll give you a method. It's the two-move checkmate. No matter what the person says that disagrees with scripture, first move, that's not what the Bible says. No matter what the objection is, that's why this apologetic drives you back to scripture. No matter what they say. Think of any objection that you hear out on the street. Do you believe in Noah's Ark? Are you kidding me? All those animals on that boat? What? You believe in a talking donkey? You don't believe the flood? No. So you don't believe the Bible's true? No. What do most Christians do? Well, the Ark was so many cubits, it was so many floors, they're probably baby animals, and there's plenty of room because there are only so many kinds of animals at the time, plenty of room to fit them all on the Ark. Evidence, evidence, evidence. You're making them the judge. That evidence is wonderful, it's scriptural, it's for Christians. But I don't do that. Someone says to me, you believe Noah's Ark? I say, yeah. I say, you don't? No. You don't believe it's true? No. Where do you get truth without God? And then you see the absurdity. Where do you get truth without God? That's not what the Bible says. Where do you get truth without God? And it's over. And that works for any objection. Suspect driving a black Bugatti Zonda. Also, uh, the, the vehicle showing some minor damage. Most of it's up. So could you explain that for us? That's all I had. Go ahead. Go ahead on that one. Okay, bro. Uh, first of all, um, you talk about objectivity and, and as if Christians aren't interested in objectivity and names. Um, you know, I, I talked about I told you I talked about the resurrection of Christ and you know Tatticus and Josephus and and you know there's information there about uh, who Christ is historically and the Christian faith is based on um, a plausibility of structure of basic facts okay um, so I think you're being a bit prejudiced there. Um, the second thing is, um, uh, I also you talk about um, the Apostle Paul and things like that before as well. You know, I gave you recent research. It's recent research I'm talking about um, by uh, Dr. Robbie on neuroscience. Uh, so I gave you neuroscience uh, and about how. Uh, I am always amazed by by the way that his energy is spread out over the world and um, and Brandon's too. But uh